So are the fears overblown? Well, let's ask one of the key players in the quantum space. Joining me now is Nicolo Demasi, chairman and CEO of quantum computing company IonQ. Nicolo, it's great to have you on. Welcome. Always a pleasure. So let's start right there, because when you get into the trenches of generative AI, at some point, quantum will enter the equation, equation in, in a meaningful way. So are the fears overblown? Well, we've had a spectacular quarter. Um, INQ has delivered a 37% revenue beat for Q3. We've raised guidance to $110 million of revenue for the year at the high end. You know, we've raised $3.5 billion of capital this year, $2 billion just in the last uh, six weeks or so. And we continue to set the pace for a sector that absolutely is the future of computing, networking, and sensing. Um, we achieved a number of firsts in the past quarter. We hit four nines of fidelity, 99.99% .99 fidelity, which means we have an unfettered path to building a full fault-tolerant machine, which we're aiming to do in the current uh, Trump administration time horizon. And of course, we're the only company in history that has expanded to be not just the leader in computing, but also to do quantum networking and quantum sensing. And you're starting to see that all shine together and work in symphony uh, as we deliver strong results in Q3 and we talk about uh, no cyclicality as we move into Q4, let alone, uh, you know, thinking about next year, which, you know, is going to be a, a healthy growth year on year as we've delivered the last five years since IPO. Okay. So just to dig a little deeper into that, I mean, the promise of quantum has been there for a while. We've seen a number of milestones, including the one that you just uh, laid out for IonQ specifically. When does the full realization of quantum begin to take root outside of the lab and in corporate America? Well, I think we're the first company in history to have nine figures of quantum revenue. So we are the largest quantum company in history by market capitalization, revenue, cash balance, employees, PhDs, patents, however you look at it. Um, in terms of accelerating growth and inflection, well, all of, our, all of our product families are very much hitting their stride, and we're starting to work together to sell complete solutions. Um, and so we're the only quantum company in history that offers quantum solutions both in the ocean, under the ocean, on land, in the air, up in the sky. Um, and I think not only markets are starting to notice that, but of course our customers are noticing that because we have more ways to land and expand uh, than any quantum company in history. And honestly, uh, you're right, we're just getting started. Um, you know, quantum has a very exciting few years ahead vis-a-vis uh, -vis INQ solutions, customers, uh, and technical milestones that we keep over-delivering on. But most of all, you're seeing us deliver on real revenue, um, and real revenue from here that we've doubled every year since IPO, and we, we show no signs of stopping. Yeah, and you've been acquisitive. Does that continue? Well, actually, you know, we entered into an agreement uh, just recently uh, to acquire a company called Skyloom. Um, this is building on our investments in quantum networking uh, and signals uh, both on the ground and in space. Um, with Skyloom, uh, our, our Capella business, our ID Quantique business, we're ultimately building a platform for quantum key distribution, not just on the ground, but also up into space with mm -hmm. satellites. Uh, we launched a quantum network with the city of Geneva in partnership with Rolex just a week ago. We have a quantum network that's rolled out the uh, Electric Power Board of Tennessee in Chattanooga. And we just announced yesterday a quantum network and a computer uh, are going at the University of Chicago. Um, so we continue to really focus on building the ecosystem at INQ. Um, we want to be the market share leader in all things quantum, just like we're the technical leader and just like we've been the commercialization leader uh, these last five years.